So as most of you guys requested, I decided to simulate all the way to the playoffs, and we actually made the playoffs with Brandon Whedon at the helm. Unfortunately, we got decimated. We got demolished by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which takes me to the player re-signing period. You can see these are the players that need to be re-signed. So let's get to it. The first person I decided to go ahead and try to re-sign was Henry Melton. He had a great season for us. And he's pretty, you know, he's entering the prime of his career. So I decided to give him what he wanted for four years. And we'll see how he's ending up after that. Next player I wanted was Bruce Carter. This guy is young, athletic, and we definitely need him as our outside linebacker. So I decided to sign him as well. Then, of course, this wasn't that big of a signing, but Dwayne Harris has always been solid on special teams. I had to go ahead and keep him. And, of course, I have to keep DeMarco Murray. I know he's a fan favorite. I'm not going to let this guy go. And I know what you all have been thinking. Yes, I have been able to retain the services of Des Bryant as well. We're good to go. And now this is where my trades, which so many of you guys clowned on, are going to come to pay off. These are the players that I'm going to go ahead and target. I decided to go for Jarrell Casey, Vontez Perfect, and Cameron Jordan. You can see these are all the players I decided to target. There's Jason Pierre-Paul in there as well, Champ Bailey, and that's about it. It's all defensive. So as we move on forward, you can see Jarrell Casey and Cameron Jordan both accepted my contract offers, and we are about to have this monster defensive line that consists of Henry Melton, Jarrell Casey, Cameron Jordan, and I believe we could either have our pick of George Selby or Demarcus Lawrence. But check this out, yo. We're going to have a monstrous defensive line. I hope you guys have more faith in me now as your new owner. So with the first pick that we had, we went ahead and drafted the mobile quarterback, Charleston Cor Colbert. I hope you guys get used to hearing that name. Afterwards, we decided to go ahead and draft a DB. And most of this game, uh, this draft, I decided to continue trading down just so I could stockpile picks for the future, kind of like how the 49ers rebuild. I have to draft this player, man. This guy's name is Long Cox. Like, no one sees what's wrong with that. Uh, he's a defensive end. I definitely had to go out and get him just for, you know, giggles. So afterwards, I decided to go ahead, draft another quarterback, kind of like what the Redskins did with Kirk Cousins. And these are the only players I ended up drafting. But that's that's okay, man, because I am so confident in this new squad. I am so excited. To recap, we have a new head coach as well. His name is Michael Latimer. We also have a brand new quarterback. He's a mobile quarterback, so you might see some read option this year. We have a brand new defensive line. We re-signed everybody we wanted to re-sign. I, I have a question for you guys, man, because right now we're going through training camp. You guys are seeing my new rookie in action. If you had to give the flight mic a grade for this offseason, what would it be? Seriously, what would it be? What could I have done better than this? What should I do now? That's the question of the week. I don't mean to brag about myself, but I think I knocked this offseason out of the park. That's our brand new head coach right there, man. These are all the news that you guys need to know. But besides that, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and follow your boy on Twitter. I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'm out. As the ball with the last one minute of the second quarter to put points on the board. So you can see, I actually read the screen pass. And whenever I read a screen pass, I have like a 40% chance of making a play.